Watch the course, tell me where you at, your motivation guy. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. The one and only Keith Allen to bring you guys the latest and greatest tips and tricks to make you the best Fortnite player you could possibly be. First, okay, we like to start off by saying it's wonderful to be back again for a brand new chapter and a massive thank you to the players who have helped make Fortnite what it is today. So with the brand new era of your favorite battle royale, how about a nice introduction to all of you future pros and content creators? Welcome to the beginner's guide to Fortnite chapter three edition. But before we get started, you gotta get my my favorite candy that's that bunch of crunch and let's get this going so you want to join the fortnite community well if you do you're going to be joining one of the world's most popular free to play battle royales with the free entry and a constantly changing meta fortnite is one of the easiest battle royales to drop into but one that is challenging to master so with chapter three here where's the best place to start your journey well let's try something simple shall we if you want to start playing Fortnite, then you need to understand only one thing. The goal of the game, guys, is to be the last person standing out of 100 players. As the player count shrinks, so will the size of the island forcing players to face off against each other. However, you are here at Pro Guys for a reason, right? You don't just want to sit around just playing the game on occasion. You want to master it, man. Like, you want to achieve a level of skill you can only find by watching content creators and champions alike. And so if you have the hopes of becoming a next generation Fortnite pro, listen up. Your goal is not just to make it to the end of the match alive, but it will also require Require you to play an active and more aggressive role that you're accustomed to. Play for eliminations, man. Play to survive storm phases. And most importantly, play for consistency in your competitive career. Remember, winning a game once in a while can be exciting, but if you really want to impress, you need to show that you can really provide results at a reliable rate. All right, so for more help setting goals and milestones, check out ProGuides.com by clicking on the link below. Our pro level coaches can get you started on the right track and give you a taste of what it's like to train like a pro. So whether you're a brand new player or a veteran from chapter two, you are guaranteed to see improvement. All right, with the constantly evolving meta, what exactly does that mean for you, the player? Well, each season lasts a certain amount of time. Sometimes it'll last two months, other times it'll last much longer. Each time a season changes, the locations, the weapons, and items will be shuffled around. Some weapons that were around for previous seasons will be unvaulted for the new season. While current items might be vaulted for the time being to allow the game to feel more fresh and force players to adapt to new play styles, otherwise, you know, pros would just simply be doing the same thing over and over again until the game becomes just stale and repetitive. But updates are not just limited to season changes. You know, in-game events and patches will gradually change the landscape of the map and the roster of the weapons to be found. In previous seasons, we've seen that occurs, such as, you know, when the cubes began moving towards the center of the map to reveal Cube Town and eventually the Pyramid. How about the time alien abductors would just start transporting players to entire new locations where they could just find interesting new loot? Speaking of locations, all right, there are so many unique locations to check out in Chapter 3. From desert biomes, you know, cult tundras and tropical islands, Chapter three seems to have a bit of everything to keep the experience nice and fresh you know each location offers a whole new set of potential weapons harvesting opportunities and tactical advantage so just be sure to explore and experience it for yourself so you can determine where you want to start landing in your future matches keep in mind guys the best pros know the pois by memory so they can make decisions on where to land based on loot population and building resources Building is the key to success in Fortnite. In fact, this mechanic is what sets it apart from the rest of the other battle royales on the market right now. And so if you want to be a pro, man, this is the skill that you're going to need to master in both consistency and speed. If you look at some of the pros such as Booga or Mongrel, you're going to see that they don't just slap down structures, you know, to disrupt the fight. They use builds to trap enemies, create new pathways, and protect themselves during the heat of a battle. There are many ways to use building in many fights, so you're going to have to really rely on your skills and smarts to really use them correctly. Build battling is the term used to describe a fight where two or more players try to get the high ground. All right, so the high ground is important because it offers you a tactical advantage where you can see your opponent easily and just fire at them. The best part is, guys, the higher that you are, the harder it becomes for your enemy to see you when they're up close. Because of this, players are going to try to create their own staircases and towers to protect themselves from damage, but also eliminate opponents. For this, you're going to want to try learning a bit of peace control. Whew. With peace control, your main goal during the fight, it won't be to deal damage to your opponent, but to control builds around them. And so if you're a beginner to Fortnite, then you need to know that you can edit in any build piece into more complex versions of themselves. This can be great for opening an escape route, you know, offering a nice peek, and maneuvering around tight spaces. However, there is one catch. That is, the only owner of a build can really edit it. So if you place down a wall to block a hallway, they can't just edit a doorway. They are now forced to break it down in order to get through. This is why peace control is so important. Players will most definitely just try to trap you in boxes or just cut you off to really limit your movements and control the fight. Alright, so creative is the go-to place to really train all your mechanics. 
Don't think of creative as just a location to play some interesting mini games. It's a portal to your own training room, which provides everything that you need to start working on improving your skills, such as your aim and building, peacekeeping, and combat. All right, so if you want some recommendations, all right, you guys got to check out Raider 464 maps on creative. These will offer you tutorials that you can really use to learn, you know, certain editing skills and retakes and so much more. Like we said, man, great for learning mechanics and building muscle memory. Plus, you know, if you want to feel the rush of combat and grow accustomed to anticipating your enemy's movements, you need to try 1v1 matches with other players. You know, if there's one thing that really battle royales lack, it's encounter rates. You know, with such a big map to traverse on, you aren't going to be fighting all 99 players. And so if you're a rookie, you might just get four or five fights per match. Movement plays a bit differently in Full Night than in other Battle Royales, with, you know, most other options being first person, there really doesn't seem to be too much of a point in jumping or just trying to really outmaneuver your opponent. Sometimes it just comes down to how quickly you can spot your opponent and your choice of attachments. Fortnite, however, does require you to understand movement and how it applies to landing your shot, dodging, scaling structures, and, you know, confusing your opponent in the process. Sliding is a brand new mechanic introduced during Chapter 3. After two full seasons of running and crouching, we finally add a bit more diversity to our choice of movement. Movement. Sliding allows you to make a sudden dash forwards, but you know, can come in handy when you perform that action on slow. Here, you can continuously slide down at an angle, which allows you to really stay lower to the ground and also get a nice increase in speed. This is great for when you want to close the gap between you and your opponent. So the best recommendation we can make is to practice your aim while performing a slide. With the increase of speed and your lower position, you know, it's just going to feel a little bit different than using peppers and just running like normal. Mastering your accuracy here is going to really help help you go far this season, man, and give you guys an edge on other players who are only now just beginning to scratch the surface of what sliding has to offer. One of the latest additions to the game is dynamic weather patterns. From twisters to thunderstorms, Fortnite is gonna keep the game fresh so you, every single time you play. You know, some of these can really form new hazards, while others might be beneficial, such as like the twister, allowing you to get caught up in the storm, allowing you to reach a nice altitude that is just great for redeployment. With this new addition, the island feels just more alive than ever, right? Of course, you know, this also means that you need to learn about where these natural phenomena occur and you know, how often so you can be better prepared during a match to really work around them. Or or just work them into your strategies. To find out more about mastering the new island and its mechanics, don't forget to check out the link down below for coaching opportunities. So where to next in our competitive journey? All right, so once you've refined your skills a bit, how about checking out Arena? Okay, so if you plan to become a somebody in the Fortnite community, then the first thing that should be on your mind should be achieving some sort of reputable status. The best way to do this, ladies and gentlemen, is through Arena. Arena is going to be your first taste of what competitive play is like, and you're gonna find it to be quite different from the standard matches. You're gonna be using the competitive loophole with adjustments to the map, you know, just make according to what, you know, Epic has deemed fit for comp. One example of a map change would be how the turrets were available last season but were absent from comp matches since they were easy to spam kills with. With so many new items and even just web slinging in the mix, Epic is going to be evaluating which items are going to be good for comp as the season progresses, so you gotta stay tuned. Alright, so once arena points reset from last season, you're gonna need to start grinding for them once more. Well, how do you do this exactly? Alright, well, they do allow you to reach new ranks, right? Everyone starts in open league with the ultimate goal being to reach the Champions League. The further that you make it through the ranks, the more tournaments you're gonna qualify for. So, if you want to increase the amount of tournaments you can participate in each season, okay, you're going to want to really reach the Champions League early on in the season. Arena points also have another function that's going to affect you as a player and your place in the Fortnite community. Most pros and content creators try to go above and beyond the minimum requirement for points. The higher your points, the more you're going to be able to use them as a symbol of your skill as a player. Open League often revolves around surviving and getting a few points every single match. However, once you reach Contender League, you're going to start having to pay the bus fare if you want to play a match. As you progress, man, the bus fare is going to increase, meaning you're going to need to be more skilled if you want to make enough points to really offset what you spend to play the match. So the higher you go, guys, it means the more skills that you're going to have to have and, uh, you know, something to definitely worth bragging about. You know, you could also be a gateway to finding teammates for tournaments since your point count will show other players that you can be counted on. Butcher Chris saw me. Man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, this is your friend, the one and only, your motivation guy, Keith Allen, the one who believes in you, the one who is rooting for you to be the best version of yourself that you can be every single day. Not only just playing your favorite game, but also in life. Keep going, never give up on your dreams. If you guys liked the video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channels. Also, feel free to leave a comment down below on the other skills that you'd be interested in just learning more about. We love to hear what you guys got going on in your life. Hey, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.